All right, guys, welcome to another SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 bonus video. Now we're going to be covering the alternate attires in the game. Now, if you ask me, a little bit of a disappointment in this game. There's not that many alternate attires. I mean, even in the previous game, uh, SmackDown vs. Raw, I probably brought up this point of how I felt like after Here Comes the Pain, like the amount of alternate attires we got, I feel like gradually went down. Uh, I guess it's a game by game basis, but I'm talking in terms of like the yearly series from you. But anyways here, so we basically got six alternate attires in the game. Uh, like I'm talking like normal alternate attires. I will also be covering the familiar fantasy attires, but that's gonna be separate uh, So at first I think what we do since we have six people we'll watch a six man over the top rope battle royal because typically in my alternate attire videos I did do a um, Alternate attire rumble which were fun, but uh, since there's only six people we'll just do this a little bit less set up But um, yeah, here we go. So anyways first attire we got here is Carlito's Aloha attire <laughs> Which actually I think it's a pretty cool and possible attire if you ask me, but uh, JBL's up next. We got the suit. And then actually John Cena, that's correct. There we go. Sports jersey John Cena. Uh, and then we got Kane. So Mass Kane, in my opinion, if Kane's in any of the games, it should be a requirement this alternate is included. It's just too iconic of an attire not to have, you know. Uh, Triple H is up next with suit. <laughs> and then finally we got Old Stone Cold. T-shirt and short jeans. <laughs> that's such a long string name. Uh, let's random our arena. Judgment day. All right. Pretty fitting arena because we're going to judge who has the best alternate attire in SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. Here we go. I'm going to make a prediction now. I'm going to go with Kane. Uh, so actually, I, something I should bring up here. Some people might uh, talk about like, don't you normally cover the non-selectable attires as well? And yes, um, so I guess the ones to address here would be the, you know, the, how I said some of the NPCs are technically set up as alternate attires rather than um, separate superstar IDs. Uh, I figured I already covered those in the NPC video, and I think just having the six here would be fine. So like basically my logic is I already covered those. And then I guess another thing people might bring up is what about the entrance attires? Why don't you have those in game? And uh, I guess really the short answer is I could do that, but it would just be a lot of setup because I'd have to readjust the character files so the textures would work in game. I could also just show their entrances, but uh, again, I figured in terms of all the SVR06 video uh, videos, like the story mode or the season mode, the challenge mode, we've pretty much seen them all. So I don't think it's really worth it to uh, cover all those, you know. Basically, <laughs> to make it actually short here is I felt like we already showed those off. It's just not going to be condensed into this video, you know. So basically, the, the roadmap of this video is going to be your alternate attire. Um, I was going to call it a rumble, but I guess it's a battle royal in this case. And then we're going to be showing off the Diva Fulfill Your Fantasy attire. So just like in my um, SmackDown vs. Raw and Kick Comes the Pain. Basically, I'll show each one and then I'll just strip each one to show you. And that's really going to be all this video is. So I'm kind of curious how long this video is going to turn out to be. Um, probably not that long because it's gonna be longer probably to record the the diva stuff than like any of the stuff I'm doing right here. But uh, yeah, there we go. It's JB. <laughs> Suit boy is here. By God, those clothes. <laughs> JB Layfield is here. Remember when I uh, played the slobber knocker on like a live stream? He's JB. <laughs> I think I hit random and got him. Pretty fun to play as, you know, especially like hitting that clothesline from hell. Been a while since I recorded a uh, SBR06 video. I think the last one I did was GM mode, which is a little too long ago, man. Like, I feel like, um. <sighs> like, I have a couple more videos for this, but I kind of want to, like, start some new games, too. Uh, I, I, there's some videos I want to make for this and Rumble Roses to kind of. I say wrap up the playthroughs, but again, to me, playthroughs are never fully closed. Like, I never fully close the door in a game because I might come back to it in a live stream. A beta copy might get released online that I would like to cover, and then there might be things I would want to cover differently or cover more in depth that I never got around to. But in terms of, like, the stuff I had in my head when I started the playthrough, really, I only have, like, a few videos of this game left, you know? So There's a lot of people asking me about SVR07, so... That's probably the next stop, just because a lot of people ask me about it. There are some other games I want to do, too. Uh, I still need to do 2K22. I haven't gotten to that. <laughs> so I need to get around to that. Um, but yeah, probably probably like do what I did with this in Rumble Roses and kind of get at least two playthroughs going at the same time, but I don't know. Who knows, man? It's John Cena. 
There's a lot on the line here. You get to say you have the best attire in SVR 06 if you win this, man. This is more prestigious than any title in the game. Look at low quality Taz and Cold. <laughs> Plus, the fact this is over the top rope, it's kind of going to be uh, unpredictable here. Who's actually going to win? And the opponent, weighing 326 it's Kane. Kane. Through hell, fire, and brimstone. Kane Miles pretty good in this game. Like this one. And Unmasked one's pretty good too. As, as long as we don't have that Here Comes the Pain Unmasked Kane, that cursed model, <laughs> we're all good. There we go. Damn, that's gonna be a thumbnail right here. Zoom in on Kane. Chimo, look out! <laughs> Man, I will never forget the first wrestling show I went to was a Raw in 2004. When Kane came out, like, when I wasn't expecting him, like, it kind of jumped a little bit when that fire hit. And, like, it, you could really feel the heat. I wasn't even, like, in the first couple of rows either, and I could still feel it. Oh, here we go. Hey, I got water too, Triple H. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink with him. I'm gonna synchronize it here. He's got, is there no cap on that water, man? I don't want to spill that. Come on now. That WB brand water. Yo, what if I made a mod that replaced that prop with like an actual brand of water? Like, uh, what would you want? Aquafina, Dasani, uh, Fiji? What are some other brands? <laughs> Actually, the brain, in case you're curious, the brain I have right here is Aquafina. The sound is good, but I don't like how there's like salt in it or whatever, or, like sodium. <laughs> that Fiji water is really good, but it's expensive, man. Has Triple H ever revealed his favorite brand of water? I would like to know that. I feel like most people, if you ask them, probably like, dude, I don't care, it's just water. <laughs> but you know, there's specifics here, right? It's deeper than that. There we go. I feel like I love a lot of the entrances in this game. I don't know, just something about this game, like they just look good, you know. There we go. Yeah. Crowd's booing. You can't boo this man, he's looking nice in his suit, alright? There we go. Is this the best attire in the game? Time to play the game. Best attire in the game. <laughs> there we go. Look at Chimmel, man. Does Chimmel have the best attire in the game? I'm sorry, the best alternate attire. I gotta be specific here, not just best attire. Yeah. Here we go. Stone Cold! Stone Cold! There we go. You know this man's motivated because he wasn't in the original SmackDown vs. Raw. He's got something to prove here, alright? He didn't get the chance in my last videos in the last game I covered. There we go. By oh, God. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of gonna miss uh, doing like uh, SVR 06 videos though when I kind of wrap this up. Like, like I said, like it's not gonna be the full the end, but... Man, I really love this game, and I really enjoyed making all those videos in the playthrough. Like, the GM mode was really fun, too. The season mode, of course. Challenge mode, like... I, I love 07, too, don't get me wrong, but I don't know. It's, 0, it's still about 06, like, I just love this game. Even with all of its problems I talked about in the playthrough, like, you know... I'm not gonna say it's perfect, but I truly love this game. Alright, here we go, though. This is all computers, boys. <laughs> Who has the best alternate attire? Hold on, we gotta learn about advanced camera controls real quick, though. Now right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen look at all these attires. You Big the snap mare from Minnesota. Austin. Oh, Cena. Cena's in trouble already. See, oh my god, someone goes over there. Cena? Oh my god! Now, here, here's the real question. Are, is JBL and Triple H gonna work together? This suit team here. <laughs> Or will John Cena and Stone Cold, the jean shorts boys, work together? <laughs> if you ever wanted just how much punishment a human body oh, here we go. I think you're gonna get an 
action tonight. You might be right, Taz. It doesn't look like I guess I, I, I this kind of like talking about Espero 7 though. In case anyone's wondering, um, I will pretty much be using the 360 version as my main version for all the coverage of the game, but uh, I will also include the PS2 version for other things and PSP just to, as like side things. But the main version, you oh, Cena's done. Main version used will be the 360 version. Wow, Cena's gone already. Kind of shocking. He's one of the cover boys and he's gone. Wow, man. Does that mean he is the worst alternate? <laughs> Does it go in rankings by like <laughs> elimination order? Look at these fans. They didn't like that one bit. They didn't yeah, like that you know one got bit. Some bad news for these fans. He don't give a damn. I mean, Carlito already has nice the coolest reversal. attire in the game, but not the best. Oh no, crowd chanting, you're not cool. Oh my god, Carlito! There he goes. No! Alright, well. Here's your final four here. Kane's still in, which is my pick. If he wins, people are going to accuse us of being scripted. <laughs> oh, no. The suit boys are still in as well. Oh, here we go. Those Austin stomps. You got to love this. Stomping a mud hole in that boy. Oh, here we go. Austin busting out the animations, brother. Okay. Just being this close to this monster is terrifying. It's terrifying. It Surprisingly, Triple H is the first one with body damage. Unless, like, Cena or Carlito had it and I didn't notice. Damn. Austin? Ooh, big reversal. Okay. Okay, Kane slowing down with the leg lock. <laughs> Kane is not managing his stamina very well. Ooh, JBL is he gonna betray the suit team? He's betraying the suits! I can't believe this. Okay, Triple H survives. You know, I always thought it'd be an interesting concept if um the HUD was slightly different in Rumble and uh, over the top rope matches where it like you could see your ring out meter by either pressing a button or like it was under your HUD. So like like right now I know Triple H has like, you know, like just a little bit in his bar left, but as the match went on, I might forget that. So it'd be nice to be able to recall that without actually being eliminated, you know. I, obviously the solution is uh, and Austin's gone, by the way. The solution, what I always did is just kind of like store it in my short term memory. So if I'm playing like, oh, I know my bar is like this close. So I'm going to be a little less aggressive here, you know, but I, I thought it always be interesting if you could pull that up whenever you wanted, you know. Kane, are you going to regain that stamina at all or what? <laughs> you big red doofus, man. Come on. When you see this level of competition, Cole, okay, Kane is now wasting is Triple no H's stamina. He Irish whipped him and then waited and did a neutral grapple. Or clean and dirty grapple is the official term, but you know. Oh, Kane! Schoolboy in an over the top row battle royal. Interesting strategy. Not sure I agree with it, nor do I agree with this not regaining your stamina strat. But Kane is the least amount of damage, so maybe he's on to something here. I don't know. Oh, JBL's gonna waste some of his stamina. That's actually honestly a smart play. Okay, the suit. Imagine if it comes down to the suits. <laughs> that would be pretty crazy. But triple. Oh, Kane finally ran out of stamina. His stamina's in the red. That big red doofus. Oh, clutch reversal from the game. Kane's got some good uh, momentum here, but his stamina management is so poor, man. Are we gonna see a suit alliance here or what? Oh, actually caught him with that grapple as he was falling. That was pretty clutch. Kane's slowing it down, brother. Kane's got a finisher. He's gonna put that finisher in the fridge. Store that, my man. Chokes on him! Oh, if Triple H can get red here, he's gonna be in the danger zone. Choke slam! Cost him all of his stamina though. Leg lock, alright, good. <laughs> okay, Kane has like plenty of time to regain stamina during this animation. He still chooses not to. This big red doofus. Oh, he was actually going to, and JVL got him. And then he's gonna waste his stamina. <laughs> Why is JVL such a high IQ player right now? Oh my god, Kane. Actually, here, here's a wild, a wild thing I'm about to say right now. This is probably stupid, but is actually having low stamina a little bit of a help in these? Because think about it. If the computer tries to average trip you over the top rope and you have low stamina, you're going to collapse rather than flipping over the top rope. Is that worth it? In my opinion, no, but it could be a strategy you could try to use, I suppose, right? 
for sure. Man, Triple H is taking a lot of damage, and we know his ring out meter is very low here. So I don't know what Cannon JBL's ring out meter is. I assume full, but I'm not sure. There you go, Kane. Lay into him. Like as soon as I see Triple H flip over to red, he's gonna be in trouble, man. I mean, Kane is dealing out some massive damage here, but again, his stamina management is so poor. Like, someone throw Kane a Gatorade or something. Like, can we get Triple H's water back out here? This man needs some stamina. Good lord. You know, we've seen some pretty good back and forth action oh, Triple H is done. Oh, no. He's red. Triple H is officially red here. And JBL has an orange head. Alright, schoolboy. One, two, three. Get Kane out of here. You lost. Oh my god, Triple Oh, clutch stamina regain from Triple H to prevent from being thrown over. But his ring out meters is too low. It's too low. Here we go. It's down to JBL and Kane. Kane has poor stamina, but JBL has poor uh, damage right now. He's got an orange head, so. Ooh, reversal fest. Taking off the turnbuckle pad, decent strat, I would say. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but it's probably pretty obvious here. This is on legend difficulty, so. Oh, King gonna slow it down with a back break. Oh, sidewalk slam. All right. JBL oh, wow. <laughs> Robo King. And he's great in the stock so market. To see him act the way he does. Damn. What are you talking about, Cole? Everything yeah, King gonna slow it down here. Not sure I agree with this, man. He's rich enough that he doesn't even have to put his body on a line night after night. Man, Kane is this is like aggressive AI here. Oh, he actually got saved from being thrown in that exposed turnbuckle from that. Oh, here we go. These elbows, man. This long animation. By God, in the suit. I gotta tell you, Cole. I thought I had this. Honestly, I think Kane's looking good here, because think about it. If JBL gets him over the top rope. Like, Kane's gonna have a full bar, so, like, he's not gonna get him in one go. And, like, time is not on JBL's side here, because he's probably close to having a red head, and then he'll get instantly thrown over. I mean, we'll see. Anything can happen, man. I mean, this Kane stamina management is so bad, though. Whoa. <laughs> Plus, Kane has not that much damage at all, man. He's close to another finisher as well. Yeah, I think Kane's got this, man. Oh, okay, here, regular ring out. But that doesn't make it any less you big red doofus! <laughs> is this Kane or fake Kane? Who is this? Oh my god. He's so aggressive, though, that, like, as much as I make fun of the way Kane's playing, it's working, you know? So, like, at the end of the day, the results are more important than what he's actually doing, you know? Joke slam! Oh, I thought that was gonna get his head red, but it didn't. I was just about to say, please don't slow down with the leg lock, brother. I guess Kane must have heard how I was, this video is not gonna be very long. He's like, you know what? I'm just gonna, just gonna waste some time here, which you know what? I'm fine with. That's one of the things that makes it so exciting. Big boot, large boot, alternate attire boot. Oh my dude, JBL has no answer for this onslaught of offense Thank from the big red the machine. I just think it's oh, and he's targeting the head? Oh, JBL. Oh boy. Oh boy. If the computer was smart enough to do a strong Irish whip, this would be over. But it is not, because SVR 06 AI, ladies and gentlemen. A big round of applause for that. Okay, JBL. Sure that was good use of stamina here to get the damage back, but instantly flip back to red with the big boot. As soon as you let the oh my god. Aggressive. Poor stamina Ooh. management. Kane is in control, though. Make fun of him all you want, folks. It's working, alright? Watch him still, like, actually fumble here and then lose the match. Oh my god. Kane is, like, what, three or four finishers this match? And I don't think anybody else has actually gotten a finisher. Oh my goodness. That was a textbook, reversal. textbook reversal. Is he gonna? Is this finisher gonna be gone though? Oh, we better store that, my man. Finisher in the fridge. Kane is. I, I would be surprised if Kane doesn't win this. In this very it ring. Bit, this is Kane, match. the future of WWE. <laughs> like, I remember when people complain. Like, really remember that one Rumble where like it was like Kane and Big happen. Show like destroyed everyone. You know like, I'm talking, like, older, like, corporate Kane and Big <laughs> Oh, God. People were not a fan of that. That was funny, though. 
you know, I don't think you can keep going for much longer after taking that much punishment. Okay, I was talking about Kane being in control here, but he's got an orange body now. And if JBL can get him one of those exposed turnbuckles, that would be some good damage here. I mean, I, I don't agree with these leg locks, though. Yeah, Kane with his no stamina. I mean, it auto-generated some while he was down, but... Another choke slam. Choke slam! <laughs> My god! It's kind of funny seeing Kane make that noise. Cause remember, like when they did like the Kane voice box thing, like the way he talked. Oh my God! It's over. Kane has the best alternate attire in SVR06. My prediction has come true. This is officially scripted, ladies and gentlemen. It's Kane. I guess everyone left the arena. They got bored, man. <laughs> yeah, there, Kane burned him alive. I don't know. Get the gasoline ready. <laughs> We got despawn like, like half the audience in the announce tables. All right, there you go. Kane is the best alternate attire. So I guess now we're gonna show off the fulfill your fantasy attire. So I'll see you there. Okay, so I guess now it's time for the fulfill your fantasy attire. So obviously you can only use these attires in this uh, mode normally without like you know, modding or anything. Uh, so basically, if you go to somebody here, you'll see there's three different versions. So there's three we gotta cover here: the schoolgirl, nurse, and French maid. <laughs> so I guess um. I gotta at least show each one and then strip each one, so we'll see how I decide to cover this. But I guess, um, this place Christy Hemi, I guess. Um, do I wanna do this in any order? I'll just hit random, I guess. Alright, Michelle. So I guess we'll do schoolgirls first. <laughs> okay. Now, I can't remember. There's entrances in this, right? No, there's not. Okay, so I don't have to show off every entrance, so. I guess I'll have to show off each one here and then strip each one. So I'm gonna have to actually carefully note here which ones are done, but here we go. I guess I'll play I'll play one match just to talk. There's really not much to talk about here. We've already covered this mode and like the challenge mode and stuff, but I'll play with just one match normally. And then from there, I'll just cut in the footage of each one being stripped. And then I guess I'll just do some sort of outro in the video and that'll be it really. Uh, but yeah, here we go. It's probably the last Fulfill Your Fantasy match I'm playing on video. <laughs> Well, I shouldn't say that because you never know, but I got backdrop. No doubt, no doubt. No doubt, no doubt. Oh, I just realized something. If I'm going to strip each one, you can win this match without having them stripped. So I have to actually, like, be careful. Why is it so easy? Why was that so easy? Give me that top. Thank you very much. Michael Cole and Taz, go ahead and take it. Why was that so easy? Is this legend or fake legend? But anyway, I was gonna say, you can see here, uh, I wanna avoid hitting her with the pillow and stuff, cause I need to actually, like, strip her fully. So, like, I need to, um, make sure I don't win before that, otherwise in the animation she's still gonna have on, like, the skirt or whatever, you know. If you get what I'm saying, right? Alright. Why was I able to strip her? That's probably, like, my new record for, like, stripping <laughs> one of the, uh, the tops. And, like, I did that in, like, what, 30, 40 seconds? Alright, can you stop? That means we have to avoid this spanking minigame, guys. I can't believe it. Alright, fulfill, fulfill your fantasy speed run. Right, give me that skirt. Give me that skirt myself on eBay. Oh, look at this. This one's hard. Why was I able to take that top so easily? That was so bizarre, dude. That was a textbook Paul Burchill. I got all the attires written down on a notepad. Oh, on the bed, by God! Bulldog on the bed! <laughs> but uh, I got all the attires written on a notepad, so I can um, just write done next to each one. I'm gonna have to write done and stripped. I need to, I need to take to keep track of which ones are stripped. Or I could... Oh, no, wait. I was gonna say... Actually, what I could do is strip two in one match, but that might get complicated. I don't know. We'll see how I cover this. I, I don't know. So I'm just going to plug in a second controller after this. Since I'm, this is the only match I'm going to be showing. Oh, schoolboy. I'm sorry. Schoolgirl <laughs> into skirt ripoff. Give me it. Give me it. Oh, God. Dude, I'm still in shock how easy I was able to take that top off. <laughs> like, what was that, man? Hey, the ref's got a tough job. I mean, trying to keep the invisible ref's got a tough job. All right, you know what? How about give me that skirt well, on the bed? Some superstars to play by the rules than others. Give me it. You know what, Cole? She's almost there. One more good pull. <laughs> One more good pull. 
Oh god. Oh! <laughs> Alright, what kind of, what, what kind of moveset is Hemi have here? I'm with you, oh, give me that! <laughs> give me that! Give me the skirt! This is the standing animation version. By God! <laughs> did she fall on the bed? She did. By God! All right, there you go. Love two girls sharing a pillow. Stop. This is not exactly what I had in mind. See, what I was say saying here, if I didn't like say that clearly, is like since you don't actually win, the win is determined by filling the fantasy meter, not necessarily them being stripped. So like, um, I could like do a two for one strip, you know, but um, we'll see if I do. I, I, that might be how I do it. I guess the only drawback would be like the win animation. Like it might be harder to see one than the other. I don't know. We'll see how I decide to do it. Alright, stop. <laughs> Honestly, the uh, the pillow is probably the easiest way to win. Cause it's so ch oh, can you stop? Okay, this is just this is goofy here. All right, come here. <laughs> My God, put rocks in that pillow or something, man. Okay, stop. It's over. I haven't done this mini. Oh, okay. What was that? How was she standing at? What was happening? competitors tonight. Thank you, Captain Obvious. You got any others like I don't know. Might be the last time we see the spank on video. If I can even do it here, why am I struggling so hard with this? Welcome to Reversal Fest. That's probably not aligned. Oh, it is. Alright, here we go. It's been a while since I've done this. There's one. There's two. No! I was gonna say if I can get it my first try, I was being back after a while, but... Oh my god, I can win! Look how close my fantasy meter is right now. That means I only have one more shot at that spanking minigame, or one pillow shot could end it. I'm gonna go for one last spank here. <laughs> so bizarre. Imagine playing this mode in the year 2022 like I am. Okay, the tactically placed pillow is preventing my Irish whips. High IQ plays from Michelle here. But I just grabbed her out of that pillow swing. That was pretty close. Okay, welcome to reversal. But I'm still the biggest mystery of this video is how I was able to pull off that top. Oh no! My top! No! Get the super glue! Get the super! Oh my god! I'm struggling. It's over. Say goodbye to the top. Looks it's like over. A no! <laughs> Why isn't there a feature where I can just go get it and put it back on to decrease my fantasy meter? <laughs> and there's the reversal. And there's the pulper. Oh my god, that kick. Oh my god, stop. She's gonna she's gonna grab my skirt. No, don't stop. Alright, now all four pillows are in the play here. How much can these superstars Alright, this is it. Left? Nope, they we got gotta run. <laughs> no. Trust me. You get in that ring and you find out you got reserves you never knew you had. I can imagine. Yeah, why am I at, playing like an absolute goof right now? I started off so strong. All right, here we go. She's spanked. It's over. One spank and it's over. I <laughs> still had her. <laughs> why didn't it let me finish, man? Come on. Oh my god. All right. Well, I didn't get fully stripped, so now only Michelle got stripped, and I need to take care of this here. Oh my god, it's not over. The paddle animation. Oh no. Oh my god. Yeah, I think I'm gonna strip both in one match, but I need a second controller. Yeah! That's <laughs> such a quick animation. Alright, so there you go. Um, now it's just gonna be a matter of showing off each attire, which, since there's no entrances, I guess I'm just gonna like show like a quick, like a quick clip of them walking around or something? I don't know. We'll see how I do this, but I'll see you there. All right, guys, so this is a quick edit. Um, so when I was editing this video, I changed my mind and I decided to try to force the fulfill your fantasy attires in entrances and they do work since entrances do support like the higher quality textures. Um, so it's not too much work to get those as opposed to getting them in game. So I figured I'm going to record each entrance with each attire. So I will do those based off of, I guess how I'm going to edit this is like, you know how I did it based off like schoolgirl, nurse, French maid. I'll like, Show all the schoolgirl ones and put my gameplay in and then show all the nurse ones. That's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you each entrance with um, each of these attires. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from California, Christy Hemme.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, Joy Giovanni. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Sanford, North Carolina, Lita. is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Palatka, Florida, Michelle McCool. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Baltimore, Maryland, Stacy Keebler. Contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Boise, Idaho, Tori Wilson. scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Trish Stratton.
All right, so I figured I'd show their menu poses in the outfits too. And I'm also, I'm playing with two controllers here. So I, I'm officially that weirdo playing this mode with two controllers by myself in the dark late at night. So there you go. Uh, so Joy Giovanni and I got Christy back in here to get a stripper to show that. So I guess just uh, real quick, we'll do like a quick walk around. It'd be a lot easier if there's entrances. Now, I think there would be a way I can get these to work in exhibition, but it'd be a lot of like texture work, which I don't really want to do. So, um, we're just gonna- plus this is the mode they're intended to be used in, so, but, uh, yeah. Good evening, and welcome to a sold-out show from Phoenix, there you Arizona. Go. I'm Michael Cole. <laughs> Circling around. I, I love him, like, shut your mouth and the computer actually does this. Does this. Okay, so, we gotta strip Christy here. See how easy this is gonna be with no resistance. Give me a- no, give me a top. Give me a top! Why is this harder? Why did I- I don't think Phoenix feel- I mean, maybe it's the same pace, I don't know. Oh my god, I'm at- oh, okay. Now, I gotta move the other control off my desk. <laughs> okay. How was I not able- how was I able to strip faster on a Legend computer than an idle second player? Can someone explain that to me? That top's about to go! Give me it! Give me the top! Did I get it? Oh my god, what? okay, this is, um... I'm trying to think if I want to keep this gameplay in or just cut without commentary of each one being stripped. I don't really know, but I guess if I can get it here, give me the top. I wonder if she'll pull it off. Give me the top. Oh my! <laughs> that animation when you rip it off. Yeah. There you go, kid. Okay. Let's do the ground skirt ripoff animation. Unbelievable. I thought I had this right. thing figured skirt. out. But this is my kind of match. <laughs> that is cheap. Yeah, I feel like it's wow. moving slower. I mean, I got it though, but. That much skin here tonight. All right. There you go. <laughs> okay, now I got to strip Joy here. I'm using my second trip. I thought I thought about um uh, I think we know which way trying to like get into contact with somebody to um, play this with me so it'd be easier, but I'm just playing with two controllers here. Give me that top. Okay. The perspective of somebody who has a neck that resembles a stack of dimes? Yeah, I might have to uh, cut this video up because I don't I don't know. I, I don't really know. Looks the like problem with like not doing a video game. live is it's hard to get live feedback. So like people want me to keep these like not getting ripped off here or like put it out. I don't know. I need some more damage here. Spear! 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 <laughs> Alright, targeting the top. That top based offense here. Okay, give me the top. This might not be doing anything for you, Cole, but you know what? Could that one seem to move faster? Am I just mashing differently? I mean, I just played a match like five minutes ago, though. I don't know. I mean, I did do more damage, though, so that's probably why it was easier. Okay. These superstars are on top of their Give game. me that skirt. <laughs> is gonna have their hand. Yeah, it's kind of funny, like, me joking about, like, you know, selling is on eBay. I swear they used to, like, do weird She's auctions like this on, like, that WWE auction website, case. like... You know, like autograph closing this. from your favorite divas, like weird stuff like that. Okay, so now I just gotta win the match here. I guess it's time for that spanking mini game once again. Night well, that answers the question of who's in charge here. <laughs> who's in charge here? Okay, well, I'm just gonna get the pillow to end this here. I think um, from here, I'll just cut this up because, like, I, I guess I should keep this footage in to show you how I'm doing this, but. This but... Is even better than I'd hoped. There we go. Slow it down. All right, I'm gonna win the most devastating pillow head ever. You ready? Stalking the prey here, Joy Giovanni. Somehow in this game. Fuck! Oh, oh my god. Uh, Christy got loading screen advantage though. But here we go. Then uh, we'll be able to show the. I guess we'll show this too. That's how I'm gonna do this. What a mess. Oh, and the pillow animation. Let's go. You're gonna see the feathers fly then. Joy Giovanni! <laughs> this theme though. <laughs> My god. She's out. <laughs> there, sell that pillow on eBay too. Pillow fight sign too. This is the ultimate pillow victory. Let's go. And a time for bed sign. Alright. Uh, I'll see you in the next uh, tires, I guess. All right, so the next set of schoolgirl ties here, we got Stacy and Lita. Uh, so again, I'll probably do like a, 
I'll show you the menu poses, which obviously they're the same, but just with the different outfits or attires. And then um, we'll do like a quick 360 view, and then I'll just show... Um, I, w I guess I won't show the stripping animations, I'll just have them stripped and then cut back to like another 360 view. I don't know. This is a weird handling. This should be so much easier with entrances, man. But, uh, yeah. Disrobing and swinging pillows and spanking your opponent's rear end. <laughs> wow. Yeah, here we go. Sold out show here in Green Bay, right, two controllers. Stacy's got Cole the glasses here. Miss Hancock side. vibes here. Alright, so I will the strip ball. these and cut back. Okay, stripped no versions, and then I'll just show here. the win animation these too, real quick. I think these divas fulfilled every fan's fantasy here tonight, Taz. That's what the WWE Here's your the winner. Best, You're right about that. Stacey and nobody Keeper. does it better. All right, Tori and Trish up next. So same drill here. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna cut off this commentary at this point because I really don't have much to say here. Like it's just the same drill over and over again here. Is Tori's stuff clipping through, or is that just how it's designed? That looks weird. Okay, anyways, we'll, we'll see in the match. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he's Taz, and I'm Michael Cole here at ringside. Okay, I'm just cutting that in there to show this glitch. I never... I don't remember this glitch existing, but you saw how I had Tori, like, resting on the ropes there? That was so weird. Like, I got her beyond the boundary of the bed. Like, I, that just, I just want to include this footage because I've never, like, seen that, like, from doing this women's toe kick. It doesn't always trigger, though. It's weird, but, uh... Yeah, okay, anyways, back to the... Back to the stripping, I guess. Wow. I bet you didn't count on showing that much skin here tonight. The WWE Divas fulfilled every red-blooded American male's fantasy with that match tag. Here's your winner. They're the hottest trainers out there. Stratus. And they proved it here tonight. They sure did. I hope we don't have to wait long to see that again. Okay, now attire two of three for the player fantasy is going to be the nurse attire. So same drill here. Let's get into it. Following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring. From California, Christy Heavy. Scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Sanford, North Carolina, Lita.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Palatka, Florida, Michelle McCool. is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Baltimore, Maryland, Stacy Keebler. Contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Boise, Idaho, Tori Wilson. St. Louis, Missouri. Michael Cole here with Taz at ringside. That wasn't what I would call the most athletic match I've ever seen, but I'll tell you, here's I'm not your complaining. winner. I hope not, Taz. Or I'd have Tori to start wondering Wilson. about you. You worrying about me? That's a good one. You're a funny guy, but then again, looks on everything. Just a cool the Polish hammer, load you to my man, and watch him earth slam you. We number one, and we bad for your health. You got no help, we snatching those belts. I knock you out. A sold out show from Phoenix, Arizona. I'm Michael Cole, here with Taz at ringside. This is just dumb, Cole. You don't win a match by taunting your opponent to death. I disagree, Taz. Getting the crowd on your side can be a huge psychological boost. I'm not <laughs> I just proved Taz wrong, ladies and gentlemen. He said you can't win a match by taunting your opponent to death. I just won a match by taunting. Taz is incorrect. <laughs> That's what I thought in my head. Like I was like, I wanted to try that. I don't think I've ever done that legit. Before. Well, that wasn't legit because uh, I was facing the second player, but that was pretty funny. Stacy. Stacy wins by laughing at her opponent. <laughs> We don't get one of the unique uh, win animations though because uh, <laughs> we literally won by taunting. Taz has incorrect information in the game.
Gentlemen, he's Taz, and I'm Michael Cole here at ringside, welcoming you to Minneapolis. You know the key to win. Ooh, what a match! Did you get your fantasies fulfilled on that one, Cole, or what? I sure Here's did, your partner. Winner. What about you? I'll tell you what, Cole. My Lita. heart has raised that much since my last 60-minute match. All right, so last set on the nurse outfits. Yes, I'm showing Joy again because there's an odd number of uh, women selectable in this mode. So uh, someone's going to be repeated here from this point on. But uh, there you go. So basically, the last time we're showing off here is Michelle. So here we go. Portland, Oregon. It's been a long time since we've come to Portland, and it's great to be back. No, to the delight of this capacity crowd. That wasn't what I would call the most athletic match I've ever seen, but I'll tell you, here's your winner. I hope not fast, or I'd have to start yeah. worrying about me. Cool. You worrying about me? That's a good one. You're a funny guy. And then again, looks on everything. Okay, so the final set of attires here, the French made attires. Here we go. This is taking a while to do all this. <laughs> here we go. The final set. Let's get into it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from California, Christy Hammond. Scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Palatka, Florida, Michelle McCool.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Baltimore, Maryland, Stacy Keebler. Contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Boise, Idaho, Tori Wilson. Welcome to a sold-out show here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I'm Michael Cole here with Taz at Ringside. Look at these superstars, Cole. I mean, they're not even contemplating the fact that they might lose here tonight. I think these divas fulfilled every fan's fantasy here tonight, Taz. That's what the WWE here is your winner. Cole. You're right about that. Tori and nobody Wilson. does it better. Taz and I'm Michael Cole here at ringside welcoming you to Minneapolis, Minnesota. These so does that fulfill your fantasies there, Cole? I mean, I know you, you don't you know you don't dig too much of the deep stuff. Here's your winner. What are you talking about? That was great. Christy. My only other fantasy is for you to retire from announcing. Oh my god, can you imagine that? You and this announce booth by yourself? Who the hell's gonna count it? show for you tonight. Hey, Cole, we're in the desert. She's not happy about winding up in her broad panties, but it looks like everyone else is. That wasn't what I would call the most athletic match I've ever seen, but I'll tell you, I'm Here's not your winner. winner. I hope not, Taz, or I'd have Trish. to start wondering Stratus. about it. You worrying about me? That's a good one. You're a funny guy, but then again, looks aren't everything. From 
night till morn. Wild out, everybody get it on. I catch you out there with the Polish hammer. Throw you to my man and watch some earth slam you. We number one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a sold out show here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I'm like, oh wow, look at that, Cole. Open your eyes, you goof. Wow, I bet you didn't count on showing that much skin here tonight. I have to say, I haven't seen many superstars solve their problems with a, a pillow fight. Okay, so a bit of a random cut here. I wanted to see what would happen if I get the fancy bars basically one taunt away from winning for both Michelle and Joy here, and then do the exact same taunt at the exact same time. Uh, so I basically tested using save states here. So one more of this taunt from either one of them wins the match, and I have my controller's... Uh, the taunt button binded to the exact same input so i hit it for one and it does it for both automatically so let's see what happens and both michelle and joy have this taunt here so let's let's see what happens i don't believe it this one's okay double taunt at somebody's fantasy apparently like what's gonna happen like because <laughs> one taunt from either one of them would have won i tested it using save state so who actually won here Ooh, what a mess. Oh, Joy won. Why? <laughs> I thought it was going to give it to the player slot one, maybe, or something. Joy Giovanni. I was kind of hoping like the game would crash or not know what to do or something, but okay, I guess. I'm not sure maybe it's just because like Joy has maybe higher charisma or just defaults to that. I have no idea, but I, I was kind of curious, so there you go. Alright guys, there you go. That's gonna do it from my alternate attire video. Again, um, I, I guess you could say 06 is a little underwhelming in the attire department. I think that's a fair assessment to make. If you disagree with me, let me know. But, you know, not that many alternate attires. And I guess if you really love to fulfill your fantasy mode, you got like, what, uh, 7 uh, divas in the game, 3 attires each, that's 21 attires, technically. But it's limited to that mode. Um, so yeah, of course, like there's entrance attires, which I, I said at the beginning of this, I weren't really going to cover, but I pretty much covered everything I wanted to for this video here. So there you go. That was the alternate attire video. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.